Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Sports News for Dummies video. Uh, sorry that I've been gone for a couple of days. I've been really busy with school and everything, but I'm back. And today I'm coming at you with another four-star recruit coming out of the class of 2021, Brian Thomas Jr. Now, Brian is a wide receiver, 6'4", 190 pounds, from Walker, Louisiana, and currently attends Walker High School. He is the number 88 recruit nationally, the number 13 wide receiver in the class of 2021, and the number 4 recruit coming out of the state of Louisiana. So on February 9th, 2021, he officially signed to play football at LSU. So this is what recruiting analyst Gabe Brooks said about Brian. He is a tall, long-framed outside receiver with functional athleticism to move around the formation, ample frame space to add needed mass in college, basketball player who has reported D1 offers, athleticism and ball-winning ability reflect basketball bounce. He shows good body control and timing in high-pointing situations, dangerous red zone weapon who can win balls over defenders, displays good initial quickness and first lateral move to foster impressive run after catch ability. He opens it up as a long He opens it up as a long striding speed builder downfield. Owns a large catch radius and generally keeps the ball away from his body as a catcher. Huge production as a junior but dipped as a senior. Played fewer games but per game averages noticeably decline. Can better leverage defenders in breaks as a route runner. One of the top couple of wideouts in a stellar in-state class in Louisiana. Projects as a multi-year high major starter with long-term early round NFL draft potential. If you don't believe the first guy, let's get a second opinion from Charles Powers, a national writer. So he said he is a tall, long-framed receiver, has long arms and big hands. Relatively lean, but has the frame to add weight at the next level. Posted a breakout junior season on the gridiron. Showcased a well-rounded skill set. Has high inability to locate and track the ball downfield. Comes down with contested catches in air and uses his ball skills and coordination to come down with acrobatic grabs in traffic. Runs well with the ability to separate within the route with quickness and change of direction. Shows the ability to open up his stride once in the open field and can pull away from defensive backs for long gains. Dangerous after the catch and in the quick game in addition to his possession skills. Doubles as a talented basketball prospect who owns offers on the hardwood. Shows his athleticism as a springy, bouncy, above-the-rim dunker. Will need to continue adding strength and technique to his game. So in 2019, he had 75 catches for 1,272 total reception yards. And in 2020, he had 30 receptions and 507 yards. Granted, he did play less games, but it was recorded that his efficiency did lower a little bit as a senior. Yo, you already know what time it is. Now we've come to the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts on Brian down below. Um, thank you guys for all the support you've been showing. I haven't even posted in a week, and I'm still getting subscribers on the daily, so thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.